where is your faith? <coughs> Believe you me, I was scared. When you lose everything that you've worked for and it is all gone, it can cause a person to get a little scared. And all I asked God for was something to drink. Because I didn't have a nickel in my pocket. I pull into the cul-de-sac. I get out of my truck. And there's an oriental lady standing in the middle of the street with a Coke in her hand. And there's not a building around me. And I didn't see her when I drove up. She hands me the Coke. I put the Coke in my truck. I turn around to tell her thank you. And she was gone. How cool is God? I, I, I'm, I'm talking, I'm in the middle of an apartment complex that's being built. There's slabs of concrete and there's PVC pipe and plumbing sticking up out of the ground. And I hit my knees right there in 120 degree weather and raised my hands. I have this. Thank you, God, for not forgetting me. And then when I got home, I saw the scripture. That's how powerful God is. That's what God will do in your life. Because I was going to blow my brains out that day. And God was showing me that he didn't want me to, that he had a, a calling on my life. The Lord wants us to work in divine wisdom and not human logic. Because human logic would have blown my brains out that day. Human logic is <laughs> it's petty compared to the wisdom of God. If Joshua's confidence had been in himself and his military's, military's experience, he may have resisted God's unorthodox but highly successful plan to defeat Jericho. Now think about this. Here's, here's Joshua. You know, he's a known military leader. He's got a bunch of great guys behind him. They're strong, man. They know, what, they know how to do their business. And God said, I want you to march around the city and blow horns and yell, and the walls are going to fall down. Now, if I'd have been Joshua, I'd have been like, whoa, that's pretty strange. But you know what? You said you'd do it. <laughs> and so I'll do it. God's going to ask us all to do things that we, not, we may look at and go, you know what? This seems really stupid to me. And in our human logic, that's what we're going to think. This is retarded. Why would I want to do something like this? But, if, but like I read earlier, if you will just obey what God tells us to do, spend time in the Word so that He can communicate with you, and then just do what He says to do. Everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. God also told Joshua that if he obeyed the law of Moses, that he would have success. Joshua 1, verse 7. Only be strong and very courageous. Be careful to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the left or to the right, so that you may have success wherever you go. Well, if he's telling this guy, Joshua, to do this, he's telling us to do this too. Don't look to the left. Don't, or don't look to the right. Don't look to the left. Keep your focus. That's the one thing that God tells me more than anything else. In my prayer time, in my study time, when I'm going to him about things, he always says to me, Johnny, stay focused. Because it's so easy for us, living in this world, to get off track. We get off track, we start listening to the opinions of other people, we start listening to all this stuff, and then that causes us, when we, get, when we come into a crisis, a situation in our life, that's, that, that's the kind of stuff that will cause us to go into fear, unbelief, doubt, because of what Joe Blow said down the street. More women divorce their husbands because other women that are divorced are telling them, you don't need that man. Be like me. I'm miserable. <laughs> it's the truth. Kids in school. Listen to other kids in school. They end up getting into trouble because they're listening to the wrong counsel. And then they get in trouble. Then they get scared. Why? Because they're not doing the right thing. Stay in the counsel of the word. It's true. It'll get you through anything. It's gotten me through a lot. I don't know about you guys, but I want success in my life. You know? And if success is not measured by a dollar amount, folks. Success is by what you got in here and the people that you can affect for the kingdom in your life. 
the Lord made an awesome promise to Joshua that he would 